By the way, this food will give you food coma. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just can't wait to taste it, yeah. I'm just waiting. And how does it smell? It smells good. It really smells good. <laughs> oh, that's. We have rice right uh, The much awaited cashew pie. Mm -hmm. It is like heaven. Mm. It is so good. Thank you. I can eat this food morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> The event has 10 islands. Yes, it's a country with 10 islands. Wow. Then I go to some season. Okay. okay. So here, any season you know, you like. So now I understand why you needed a bigger pot. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, and I still have to keep adding some water ah. because the water is. The water is so small. Yes. Wow. Some black pepper, some garlic, some paprika. Okay. We are Blaze TV. Blaze TV, TV abone look is the name of the Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Hey, keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV. Keep watching Blaze TV with Baba Africa. Keep watching Blaze TV with Baba Africa. Keep watching Blaze TV. Hello viewers, you welcome to Blaze TV and this is Peace of Africa with Baba Africa. So as you can see, I'm already in my African apparel and anytime you see me in my African apparel during this cooking segment, it means we are doing something African. I have my beautiful lady here with me from Kivet. Today we are cooking something and she's going to introduce herself and what we are going to cook today. So, can you introduce yourself? Uh, yes, hello everyone. My name is Natasha from Cape Verdean and today we will be doing kachupa, which is a Cape Verdean staple food. It's a stew with a mixture of corn, beans, different types of vegetables and... What, what do you say? Kachupa or kachupa? Kachupa. Kachupa. So today we are making kachupa. So viewers, just look forward to it and let's see how it goes. Yeah. So can you introduce your ingredients uh, for the kachupa? Okay, so we have yellow dry corn, red beans, and white beans. Then for meat, we have dried pork meat, chicken, chorizo, and smoked pork meat. Then vegetables, we have carrots, we have cassava, sweet potato. Oh, we have cassava in there. Yes. Oh. We have green bananas, cabbage. This food, I think, is going to be fully packed with nutrients <laughs> because, I mean, look at a lot of vegetables are going in, a lot of meats are also going inside. So, I mean, the nutritional value of this food is going to be top notch. We need a lot. <laughs> so you said with the uh, vegetables, you can use any vegetable. Any of your vegetables. You the meat, you can also use any meat. Any of your meat choice. Of your choice. All right. So it's not a one-way thing. Yes. You can be, you know, diversified about it. I mean, variety is the spice of life. So you can decide to use any vegetable of your choice. For kachupa, it's important to leave the corn soaking in water a day before so i put my corn in water around 22 as you can see in the picture i left it until morning and also in the night i separated the beans i would be using and just left them ready to just add in water and boil, boil them together so in the morning when i woke up i put my 
I added the beans to the corn and put them to boil for over two hours before I started the real procedure of cooking a chupa. Because the thing that takes long is boiling the beans and the corn. So I left them boiling for two hours. Then also an important part is if you are going to use dried salted meat, you need to wash it. You have two pictures on the screen. One is the salted meat and the other is the salted meat soaking water. So you have to wash the salt away from the meat and then also leave it overnight soaking it in water. And once you boil the cachupa for, sorry, the corn for two hours, you can add the salted meat inside that water so that it cooks and then you take it out, you cut it in some chunks the way you like it, how big you want your meat to be. So I also realized you were usually cutting most of your vegetables and your meat very big. Yes, so they do not uh, get mashed okay, in so the cachupa okay. because it boils for Most some a long time. Okay. Yes. Alright. So because we also have to take in consideration that this will still boil a bit with the vegetables and meat. Okay? okay? So for me, it's already in that point that now we just let it sink for a bit. So I'll reduce the heat okay. and cover it. So that it just stays there and now we can start preparing the meat mixture. This is corn, two different types of beans, red beans and white beans. It's boiling, they've been boiling for about two hours. So uh, you have a uh, white and which type of beans? Uh, red and white. Red and white? Yes, kidney beans, red oh. and white. Okay, and I can see some meat in there. You have meat as yes. well. It's uh, salted dried pork meat. Okay. And then you just add some bay leaves. Okay, just for the flavor, right? Yes. Okay, all right. And then you let it boil. For how and long you, should this Like boil? this has been here for two hours, but then you have to check if the corn is cooked. Okay. But it's still not cooked okay. yet. So we leave it for about like 20 more minutes and then check on it again. Okay. Okay, You can put any or Okay. So, yeah. A sausage, actually. This? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's called chorizo. Oh, okay. I don't know if you ever heard of it. No, not really. Yeah. It's chorizo. Okay, so oh. whatever is here. So I'm going to start cutting some onion and onion, okay. brushing some garlic. If you don't like cooking oh. food with a lot of garlic, so be mindful on the garlic use. Otherwise, mm. you can use more. I'm just going to use four because I already crushed one okay. here. Are you a fan of a lot of garlic on food? I, I love spices, any type of spices I like it. Yes, I think as West Africans it's like that. Yeah. So 
so big mm -hmm. because I want this to kind of cook until the point that it's very, it almost disappears on the stew. Yeah. And this is actually a very small pot, you know? Yeah. Back home. Oh, this is small? Yeah, for the way we cook it back home. Oh, okay. Like, it's triple the recipe of what I'm using. And do you put it on gas or use it on the traditional uh, pot? You can use it on traditional pot, yeah. which is like you make your wood thing. Wood, yeah. But back home, we use it like normally just at grandma's place, then we use it like that. Yeah. Because we, we have food and we also use very big pots for like that. And how does it smell? It smells good. It really smells good. <laughs> oh, by the way, this food will give you food coma. <laughs> yes. I just can't wait to taste it. Yeah. I'm just waiting. There are so many vegetables going in here and I love it. <laughs> so many vegetables. Yes. It's good. This is the best part. Kashupa. So uh does it is which language is that? Is it uh, a local yes. Vedian language? Ah okay. So what, what's like the most spoken language in Cape Verde? Do you... uh, our mother tongue is Creole. Each okay. island has its own variety of Creole and then we have official language Portuguese. Okay, so do you have different languages apart from the Creole? No. Wow! Amazing! This is the first time I'm hearing an African country having just one language. Well, not just one language, like each island has its own variety but we yeah, don't but understand I mean, each other yeah i mean it doesn't happen like that in any other country you know because in other countries you have different languages which are totally different mm -hmm. you don't understand anything at all really yeah i know in zambia it's like that yeah in, it will be it's similar we have like a couple of them that is the akan language that sounds similar those are just like four languages which sounds similar. The rest are very different. You won't understand anything anyone is saying. <laughs> wow, wow. Then Kevin is actually blessed. I mean, you guys, 
it's it's very difficult to have a count. You know, that is the reason why we are not able to unite as a people, because everybody feels they have a different language, and mm -hmm. you have to use my language as a, a national language or something. Yes. Yes. But if you have a country that has similar language, it's very diff easier for them to. Well, trust me, even us when we can understand each other, we have that difficulty, like of just creating a dictionary with dictionary. our language because yeah. we don't always like speak the same. Just oh. because we can understand each other, oh, okay. doesn't mean we can speak the, the same. The same, yeah. That's we super. Let these things cook. Ah which will be taking like some 30 minutes, 45 minutes maximum. Mm -hmm. The way is all too soon. Our food is ready and uh, we're about to taste our kashupa. The much awaited kashupa. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see. Yep. Is, is, is it awake? Okay. Oh, I'm taking it, do I have to cut it? Uh, I can because I like, like smaller pieces, oh. but you can take like, make sure you have vegetable soup. Oh, okay. And, and meat. And okay. with the skin, the way you want to eat. Yeah, I love the skin too. So. Okay, it's hot too. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. This is so heavenly. <laughs> it is like heaven. Mm. This is good. Mm. Wait, let me add some. It tastes so good. Thank you. I can eat this food morning, afternoon, evening. <laughs> so, um, Natasha, um, can you tell us something that's all about um, the bed? Okay, it's a country with canals in the coast of West Africa. It has 10 islands. Yes, it's a country with canals. Wow. If you want to visit anywhere in the world, I think you should consider Cape Verde. Yes. 10 solid islands. Lots of fish, seafoods. Mm. Nice mm. food like kachupa. Of course. You can get kachupa in Kivet, so just go to Kivet and try kachupa exactly. with a beautiful, I mean, environment, the, the, the islands. Lots of beautiful pictures. A lot of beautiful pictures. If you want content, I mean, that's a place to go. You're watching Blaze TV and this is Peace of Africa with Bar Bar Africa. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Blaze TV. You can also follow me on Instagram, Blaze TV, Blaze TV on Facebook, Blaze TV on TikTok. Peace of Africa, every country could hear. Peace of Africa, every corner of the world could feel out.